force, that power behind you speaking. This speaking we are talking about can be can be you not being able to speak that thing that has that has withhold you. Because when you speak, you speak, you you'll be able to express your mind. You'll be able to talk, draw attention. What is that force that is holding you and preventing you from speaking? That is that is putting you down, see, giving you reasons not to speak, not to talk about that problem, that situation you are going through to, 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 to God. I come against such spirits that is holding you, that is keeping you from God. I come against such spirits, such demon standing and pulling you from Christ. I come against them in the name of Jesus. I come against them in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. The Lord will rebuke you. The Lord will rebuke you. He said the people were surprised. And they said, nothing like this has ever happened in the land of Israel. Nothing like this has ever happened. When God finished what he is doing in your life, men will begin to exclaim, that something like this, human like this, such a blessing has never happened in your family. Such a blessing has never happened in your business. Such a blessing has never happened. No, it has never happened. But God has given it to you. He has given it to you. Brethren, again, from 25 downward to the end, in the book of Matthew 9, the scripture says that Jesus traveled all through the town and villages of that area. He was teaching in the synagogue and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. Every kind. There was no one he allowed to go without being touched. He healed them, all of them. All the diseases, he took care of them. All the illness, he took care of them. He said, after all of this, he said, the crowd was following Jesus. They were, they were pressing upon each other. They were moving. They were following Jesus. When Jesus saw the crowd, he had compassion. He had compassion. He had compassion upon them. Because they were confused and helpless. They were roaming up and down. They were helpless because they did not have the word. In our gross dark generation, there are many who are helpless. There are many who are confused. Jesus is looking for people. He is looking for persons who will become his ambassador. Who would reach out to these people. He said he had compassion. He said they were like sheep without shepherd. He said to his disciples, He said, The harvest is great. There are a lot of people that are looking for God, that are looking for Christ. The harvest is great. The desire of men is great. The desire of men toward Christ is great. The desire of men toward the kingdom is great is mush is is mush is mush the harvest is great so, but the workers are few the people to do the work is few while the harvest is mush the harvest is mush but the laborers are few he says so my disciples all of you come let us pray. He said, pray. So pray. Pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him. Ask him to send him more workers into his field. Brothers and sisters, you are workers. You are workers in God's field, in God's vineyard. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
the work of evangelism cannot be overemphasized. It is a mandatory work. It is not if you like. It is a compulsory work that we all have to carry out. Again, I say, in any way you can preach the gospel, preach. Preach, my brothers, preach, my sisters. Just preach. If it's to enter the bus and preach, preach. You see, I keep on talking about entering of bus. It's because entering of bus is free. Nobody will confront you. You have few congregation if you are the type that is shy. You have 10 passengers in the bus, 2 in the front, 4 at the middle, 4 at the back, including your driver. Hmm. Making it uh, uh, 11. Making it 11. This congregation, minus you, is just 10. So. This congregation is few. Sit at the back if you are very shy. So the people you know people will not see you. They will not they, 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 you will not be seeing their eyes, so you'll be seeing their back. Just preach. Prepare your short sermon, preach. Calculate the journey, preach, and make sure it ends before you get to the, the to the middle of the journey. Why? Because take notes. At the middle of the journey, people may begin to highlight one after the other. So that they will finish and they will hear your word, hear the word of the Lord completely before they come down. Give them a message of hope. Give them a message of the kingdom. Give them a message of the kingdom. Let them know that God's kingdom is free. Don't go and be, see there are a lot of things to preach about. Don't go and be preaching um, 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 words or topics that will be so controversial. There are powerful and wonderful topics. The kingdom of God is bigger than controversial issues of trouser, no trouser. The kingdom of God is bigger than that. Preach messages that will bless the lives of people. Have you listened to message, messages that they didn't even mention controversial issues? You chaza or no chaza, and you were blessed. That talked about the kingdom of God, how you can make it, how you can live peacefully on it. Look for a topic. Look for, don't look for too many Bible scriptures or Bible references. Just look for one. Meditate on that one. Bring out God's heart on that scripture. It could just be John 3.16, the very simple one, and lay more emphasis on it. Lay more emphasis on it. The harvest is great. The harvest is much. Brothers and sisters, the laborers are few. If you don't have more strength, go to your church, ask for your pastor to give you trats. Take the trats and go and share. Go to motor park, share. Go to where faith motors, go to where they are traveling, where you have traveling buses, go and share tracks. Go to parks, share. Go to you see if 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 you can pick up a ministry, look for secondary school one or talk to the principal. Be preaching in the assembly ground every Friday or every day as the case may be. That one is in the morning before you go to your place of work. In our case, we do drama ministration in assembly ground every morning. We normally go in, in a season. This season that the school is just resuming, God helping us, we'll be going this season. Brethren, the harvest is much. Laborers are few. It's not just enough to pray that the God of harvest should send him more laborers. You, you are a laborer. Start the work. Start the work. That brother is still lying. That brother has not known Christ because you refuse to preach. There are souls tied to you. 
that you would win to God's kingdom. You need to start. You need to start your work. You need it. You don't need to know much, but the little you know that have saved you, share it with another. It could be your place of work, your colleague. Invite him over for a dinner or for a lunch and share your belief, share your faith with him. If he has big questions that you cannot answer, China it to your pastor. Brethren, please, let's be actively engaged in the kingdom service in reaching out to souls this period. Let's reach out to souls throughout the year 2022 tell yourself make it a promise make it a duty that you would preach the gospel to someone in a week or it could be one person in a week one soul in a week it could be one soul in a month i read about a man of god who when he wakes up he will say father we say thank you this is another day for her to lose a soul because he feels for him to have seen a day ah he would lose one soul today he does the day does not end without him winning or evangelizing the gospel to at least one person that brother's own was a day yours could be a week it could be a month all depends on your strength, your place of work, your capacity. It could be once in a Saturday, take up your Bible, walk through your streets. You could go to, uh, to, to, to an eatery. You, you, can, you, can, you can reach out, reach out, just reach out. Ask the Holy Spirit to, 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 to tell you what to do. He would sure tell you. Brethren, that is God's word for us today. From Matthew 9. The end part of it. That is from um, 27 to the end. Thank you. If this message has blessed you, please also do where to bless another by sharing it with them. Share it with that friend. Share it with that loved one. Share with that family member. And also ask them to help us share it. As you do this, thank you and God bless you. Daddy, give us the grace to run and pursue after you. Increase our faith in you, Lord. Help us. Help us to build our faith in you. Daddy, we ask for your grace to live a holy life in each passing day in our lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus that the, the laborers are few we ask oh Lord send in more laborers bring in more souls to the feed help us to be instruments in your hands. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Today will surely be a blessed day for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining. And God bless you. Good morning. You're welcome to the 6612 podcast. This is the Money Devotion.